Okay, friends. Um, a lot of you have hangers that look like this one with, uh, you know, fancy new weapons and robots. Uh, but today we are running a hanger that looks like this one. Uh, these are stock robots um, as they come from the store with uh, some range mismatches and limitations and obviously nothing super new and super fancy. We've run 20 battles and won 10 and lost 10. So if you're playing well, uh, you can certainly help your team. But uh, as you'll see here, you do have you know, some damage limitations. You most of the time can't uh, just lay waste to everybody the way you would with all your hey cheese and your inquisitors and whatever else uh, it is you're running. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can do here. Those are our teammates and those are the bad guys. I don't see anything really crazy over there. You never know, maybe they are. Uh, well, you don't see a Hydra HE every day, but there it is. Uh, that's one of the major China clans, um, so it won't surprise me if that person is running five of those things. Uh, they won't all have hydras for sure, um, but there they go. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, play to my strengths, just do what the robots can do. I'm going to try to switch sides with the um, with the Galahad. Uh oh, Zeus. Um, he didn't fire, fortunately, because um, I wasn't ready for it. Uh, Galahad can run, and he's got a decent shield to take a pounding from this guy. So because he was in range, took a big hit from the pinatas, and, um, and we brought the Leo down. Um, anyway, Galahad is a good runner. If you know, I can probably get in and get the center, although that was a dash robot there. Um, the smarter play is to flank, um, to get over here at that beacon, um, especially with missile robots running there, and a big, ugly Natasha coming there. Um, so that's why you don't run into center. And with this group, uh, I don't know why I did that. That was a dumb move. Um, Galahad can't get caught in the open by Orkins like he just did and, and hope to survive. Um, so here's one of the, the Galahad was the other. Here's a robot with a range mismatch on weapons. Griffin has pins that are 500 meters um, and Molots that are eight. So I'm not hitting that robot down there with the pins. Um, I just let them fly. Pins reload fast enough to where it doesn't really matter. Um, see them coming back one at a time there. If I lose them because i got to fire the Molots, it's not a problem. Um, or, of course, you can hold down one uh, weapon and then the other, and both will keep firing. I'll show you that if I get the opportunity here. It, I mean, I can do it now. Here's one Molot. Here's both. Um, without firing the pins, but there's a there's a target that can um, is in range for both. Um, regardless of what robot I was running, I would want to be down here um, flanking uh, the enemy. And as you can see, uh, something with organs wants to kill me. Um, but. I've drawn them over here. It would be great if I could capture. Um, so there's that and get out. Um, a little above half health and I've got some support. Thank you, Cuz Base. Um, and I can help that person with Molots and I can maybe get back far enough to fight another day here. I think I'll stay within pin range. Pins are 2,000 damage per hit. What? Why are you shooting me, Apollos? 
shoot my shoot my buddy, shoot pilot hangover, or um, I'm gonna get out of Apollos's range. He's a Russian death button griffin, um, 500 meters of range, and that thing with the with the ember took out my my teammate Thar. Um, so I have we have lost that beacon and we're uh, dropping center now. Um, hopefully my teammates can help there. This, this is probably the weakest of the stock group. Um, the, the Griffin is not going to do a lot of damage quick. And you can see why people, um, switch to plasma and, and death button setups, uh, so that they could kill a lot faster, uh, than they can with, with this. This is a bleeder. You know, to just work on your enemy over time if you've got it. And, and we do. Whoa, there's the embers. Um, don't want that. All right, I may jump up and help. I'll probably miss this, but... Oh, I got over the wall. Good. Um, I can kill that thing if I can hit it. Oh, he's got, he's got help. Um, that was a smart play for them to get uh, behind that rock and not let me shoot him. Um, I can definitely, oh no. But I do hate to see a Natasha just throwing zenits. Um, that does not bode well for my team. And it, as you can see, we um, have lost two beacons. We're down to um, one while Pilot Hangover sits there. Um, it's really bad for us. So I'm going to get this carnage off the field. Um, and thank you, Rugby. And run at this beacon again. My teammates grab the other side. Thank you, team. And we're doing decently. I have not had to drop Lance a lot yet. And I, the Stalker, a lot of people would run first. Ouch. Um, Death Button Griffin uh, takes down Carnage every time. A lot of people would run the Stalker first. But from my perspective, uh, a really fast robot is best at the end of a battle. When uh, some of your opponents have died off, there's more open territory to run around in. Um, so my stalker will be my beacon runner late if I can uh, if I can get if I need a beacon late if I can get to one. Um, so Lancelot, right, with uh, Tolumbus is not normal. That's how it comes from the store and um, most people quickly go to the Ansel and the Tehrans for the high damage output. Um, this guy is best piloted, I think, sort of like a, a Russian death button griffin. You know, bring him around 400 meters, stay away from the Orkins and the Tehrans and you can you can hurt people. If you should get up close, you got thunder and you've got armor. This is my toughest robot um, by far because he's a Mark II, level 12, and um, you know he can take a lot of punishment, although I don't know what Fire Killer is. Uh, it's a Galahad with a Scourge, two Magnums. Um, he wants to be really close to me. I guess he believes that that will help in terms of me not being able to target him. But I don't know if that's really true. I think Thunder hits you up close like that and um, and kills you. So we'll see. Um, it's sort of a battle of pushing right now. Maybe I can get a tiny bit of space. I guess not. Um, there we go. His shield is gone. There he's gone. Um, is that? And my beacon bar is gone. I need a teammate to grab a beacon, um, which they could not do 
that maybe the smarter play would have been to get in the stalker there, but he would have grabbed that beacon. So that's a, a battle with stock robots, and as you can see, it's hard to do a lot of damage that way, but if you're running beacons and uh, picking on people, you can certainly uh, you can certainly do okay, and you can help your team. Um, I don't know how much my team helped me that time. So that was the stock uh, hanger.